Austin's iconic strip of South Congress Avenue will see a changing landscape with some businesses set to close and site plans under city review for others. KXAN's Kylie McGivern joining us live from South Congress with what she has learned tonight. Well, Robert, over the summer, Red Dog Engineering submitted an application for a mixed use property, turning everything that you see behind me on this block into retail, restaurants, and also including a parking garage in that space. Now, while we reached out to the engineers who said they had no comment, when we spoke with business owners along this block, they had plenty to say. Like countless others, Steve Boosty came to Austin with a dream. Well, I kind of really had this uh, uh, affinity for these classic horror films and sci-fi films growing up. Everyone was like a monster kid from the 60s and 70s. His dream? To bring back the monsters that give people nightmares. I wanted to preserve that memory. But if you ask the Spanther House of Wax owner, today's monster looks a bit different. It's the fear developers will gobble up South Congress. Already, Steve's time has come. I don't even have time to kind of really mourn. <laughs> I just basically have to figure out what I'm going to do. In its place, a proposal for mixed-use development. I'd love to keep it in Austin, but we are keeping our options open and looking at other cities at this point. Cities we're owning is an option. Kimber Brew works across the street on South Congress. It's going to be, are the shops here going to be able to afford the rent, even if these big purchasers uh, or real estate purchasers and investors allow them to stay, will they be able to afford to stay? If you think about what defines Austin, South Congress is one of the things that defines it. It's a definition many fear is being rewritten. I don't want it to, you know, disappear, that, that coolness, that weirdness. And when I was speaking with the owner of the House of Wax Museum, he said that they really want to go out on their own terms. Rather than wait till the end of the year, he said, fittingly enough, the last day will be on Halloween. I also reached out to one of the owners of Docs, and he said that he is aware that the property sold. And right now, a few months ago, there was some conversation about being a part of the new project. But he said, bottom line, right now they're part of a 13-year lease, and they intend to finish out that lease. Reporting live, Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. Well, we wanted to see how much property values have gone up in the South Congress area in recent years. Later this month, Home Slice Pizza will be celebrating their 11th anniversary. And just since 2012, the land value at that spot has gone up 200 percent. Across the street at Hop Dottie Restaurant, a newer development there in the same time period, the land value there has gone up more than 150 percent. The land value of the South Congress Baptist Church property increased 167 percent. The property the church ended up developing to become the SoCo Hotel has increased more than 550 percent in value. Pretty. Uh...